Other issues need to be addressed separately and should not be brought into this debate to cloud the issue as they were on the last occasion when this measure was debated in this House. The bill, as I say, does not address or purport to address the issue of cohabiting couples of the, uh, of the opposite sex. That's for another day. And there are issues in relation to that. The bill under discussion tonight has been informed by the debate and the expert considerations that have occurred in recent times, most, most notably uh, the Colley Working Group. What Ms. Anne Colley and her group recommended was that full civil partnership for same-sex couples uh, be a distinct institution separate from and not competing with marriage. And that's exactly what is achieved. Hard-working, tax-paying members of all our communities who simply want to get on with their lives and to have the state in which they work and live, which they respect, to recognise and to respect them. Who wish to have their sexual orientation respected and their partnerships legally recognised. It was Martin Luther King on the famous day when he proclaimed the dream of equality who reminded us of the fierce urgency of now. He said, this is no time to engage in the luxury of cooling off or to take the tranquilizing drug of gradualism. This is a matter of justice and equality that affects the daily lives of thousands of our people. People who live in a committed relationship and who are denied the simple rights that married couples in our society take for granted. Let us make the bold and brave decision. Let us not long finger it, let us not obfuscate about it, and let us not pretend. I commend the, the motion and the bill to the House. Uh,